what I do today is I teach leadership and um, I learned it in the Peace Corps. And I think reframing the Peace Corps experience as something uh, futurists say there are two um, trends, two shifts that we're going through. One is to become a global community, which we do by being in the Peace Corps. The second one is to create the inclusive, diverse and equitable society. In other words, we're moving towards a multicultural society and world. The young millennials and the um, generation after them are already there. And I think uh, we reframed the Peace Corps as something that taught us leadership, that made us global citizens, that made us inclusive and able to relate and embrace people of all cultures and ethnic groups and ages and, and generations, et cetera. Um, in the 90s, I worked with uh, the National Peace Corps Association to do a leadership program for Peace Corps volunteers that were re-entering. But I've been listening some, and I think one of the things that's so important is for us to empower ourselves to understand, because when I came back from the Peace Corps, um, I went to get my first job and I had this portfolio because I had been doing um, microenterprise work with women way back then. And I had all this stuff and I go to get interviewed and the guy stops me and he says, um, uh, I'm really sorry, but uh, we only hire people that have a master's degree in social work. This was the state of Wisconsin. Well, this was absolutely bizarre to me. I'm the first person in my family to become educated, the first one to graduate from college. My mother had a fifth grade education. I thought this was ridiculous. And I had just come back from the third world where I thought I had made a contribution. So I slammed my papers on the floor and I said, you don't understand. I was born to be a social worker. I was born to do this. And he looks at me and he says, uh, well, if you can go down to the University of Wisconsin, we'll help you get a master's degree if you'll come back and work for us. Now, I understand I had certain privilege there for the first time in my life because I was, I am Latina and I was able to speak Spanish, et cetera. But I had that sense of empowerment that I got through the Peace Corps. And I invite everyone just to stop for a minute and to realize that, yes, it's difficult to come back, particularly under these circumstances. But I think the most important thing we can do as Peace Corps volunteers is to have that banner that says, guess what, I'm a global citizen. I've made contributions across this globe. I'm inclusive, I love culture. I'm here to build this new world that's coming. Because especially today with our problems in foreign policy, with our problems with the current administration, the work we need to do in the future is absolutely more critical. And the other thing I'd like to say is that I've been at this for over 50 years. So it's not, uh, I'm coming back from the peace and what I'm gonna do. It's our lifelong commitment to building peace in the world.